Hey, what's up guys? Tony here and welcome to another episode of my V8 Supercars Mastery Series. This is, of course, week five and this is the full race. Technically not a full race. It's going to be uh, like a half race <laughs> because although I raced the whole race, about 15 minutes into this race, it's about a 40 some odd minute race. I've got no one to race with. I'm j it's just like me by myself on the track practicing. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So I'm going to make this video really short. And once it gets into the point where there's nobody really else around, then uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. And But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the bad stuff that's happened this week because there's been a lot of it. <laughs> this week has been the week to forget for me. And which is weird because... My last video that I posted, it was the practice part due, and I was super excited. Like, you, it, it, like, I can't even properly tell you right now how excited I was. Like, I was super bummed out that uh, on Thanksgiving, I had Thanksgiving because, like, all I wanted to do was race on Thursday night, but I had family here, so I, I couldn't. So, I, I just, like, I was so excited Wednesday. I was, ugh, like I said, I can't quite properly put it in, into terms, like how excited. I, I felt so confident, like my confidence was so high. You know, in that practice session that I posted, I had run, you know, 132s, almost 131s. I got really close to 131 once, and this was in with a race trim. This is what even like qualified trim. And for whatever reason, from Wednesday night when I practiced till... Friday afternoon when I actually got into practice again, it was all gone. Like for whatever reason, like my mid to low 132, sometimes um, like a low 133 in there, sprinkling in that range, you know, a second or so range in there. Uh, sometimes like a mid 133, so you get like maybe a second and a half range. That range was the shot. Like I was running like mid to high 133s to low 134s on Friday, and I just couldn't figure out what was going on like what was wrong like something was wrong it had been you know because like <laughs> in in my defense and you know my mental defense i guess i was like it had to be in the track or it's the car or it's the setup or it's this or it's that and i think more than anything else what it turned out to be was just the simple fact that for whatever reason i was so locked in on wednesday and come friday i wasn't locked in and the more I tried to figure out what was wrong, the worse the problem became because I became so focused on there's something wrong, I need to fix something. And then uh, what I started to do is I started to overanalyze while I was driving. I was just like, oh my God, I'm not taking turn one fast enough. I got to break, turn in. So I started to think about every corner instead of just driving. And that basically compounded my problem and I just didn't have a good week, um, no matter how much I practiced. And also, it didn't really help that the uh, it didn't really help that my fellow I racers decided to have one of the most aggressive and stupid weeks so far. Like up to this point, I would say that the V8 Supercars, the uh, the community and the series has been the cleanest racing that I've ever seen. I just hasn't been the case this week. There's been a lot of overly aggressive drivers, and I think maybe some of it has to do with the fact that this track is a really hard track to pass on. You really have to, you really kind of have to force a pass in certain areas, and so uh, it's resulted in some questionable decisions. So, anyways, I guess in a nutshell, this week hasn't gone at all like I had hoped. I, I think I've raced four times this week. I raced, uh, Oh gosh, what did I race? Did I race Wednesday? No, I didn't race Wednesday. So f Friday, Saturday, and I'm recording this on Sunday. Uh, I guess four times. Maybe did I race on Tuesday night? I don't know Wednesday. Night? Anyways, it doesn't really matter. But um, it, it's just it hasn't really been that great of a week, unfortunately. Um, I started to uh, I started to really kind of hit my groove though last night. And well, you know, what? let me back up. Also, I think was compounding this problem 
is that I did, and I mentioned it, I didn't actually get a chance to mention it in my video, but I put a, a link into my, my, a picture, a Twitter picture, uh, a, tw a picture I posted on Twitter, and I did the spring modification for my shifter, so I could have a sequential shifter, and so up to that point I was using the paddles, and I was, you know, so I went, I moved to the sequential shifter for this week, and I was running the 132s with that, I didn't really think it was that big of a deal, and I found that uh, I just decided to stop using it for my last race. I was like, you know what, I'm s maybe it's the shifter. Because like, there are times where I was feeling a little uncomfortable with the fact that I was mid-corner and I'd have to shift. So I'd have to take my hand off the wheel to shift. And I just I just didn't like it. I felt unsettled. I just didn't, didn't really enjoy that experience, I guess. Uh, so what I did for the last race, the, the race that you're watching, I did a couple of things, actually. <laughs> Some of it was like that... I just need to break the mold. I need to break my mental state. So I created a new paint scheme. Just you know, one last night I was just like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a couple hours. I'm gonna make a new paint scheme. So that's the spy sunglasses paint scheme that you see on my car. I just decided to on a whim make it up. And I needed to break the the, the sort of the funk I was in. And that was probably the best way, or you know, like from an artistic standpoint, I could break the funk. But the other thing I did is I turned off the sequential and turned back on the paddles. And I have to admit that I feel way more comfortable using the paddles. And not because I've been using the paddles forever, uh, but because of the fact that I just like having my hands on the wheel, both hands on the wheel while I'm driving. I just feel like I have more control, more precision. And so uh, I did that. So I, I, so I guess I went back from... The, I went paddles to the sequential mod on my G27 shifter, back to the paddles. It just seemed, I just felt a lot more comfortable. And proof of that was in my races on Friday and uh, early Saturday. So I raced twice yesterday. So Friday and Saturday, I couldn't really touch 132s. Like I was in the like 133s to 134s. And then as the race went on, I was like, my times were slowing down. Like I would be like a like a low, maybe mid 133, and then my my times would be like, you know, 134s and then 135s. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? I was so mad. <laughs> I was like, so frustrated with what was going on, and it was a part of this whole me overanalyzing and just not driving. And so last night after switching back to the paddles, and maybe some of it had to do with just sort of the. Uh, I don't know the catharsis of sitting down and, and just doing a whole new paint job and just sort of putting that that frustration and that focus on something besides practicing and driving. But in uh, in this race, I run 132s again. I don't think I ran like a low 132. I think I was like maybe a mid 132, but I was hitting 132s again for the most part. Like I, it wasn't until the last part of the race that I started to hit 134s um, because of tire wear and stuff like that. But I, I just put myself into a better mental space by doing that, I guess. Um, but by comparison, I, I had a, a far better race, and that's the race you're seeing. But like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post little, little clips uh, of this week so far so you can just kind of see everything that I've been going through. Maybe I should put, like, what's her name, Sarah McLaughlin or whatever. <laughs> that commercial she has with the cats and the dogs, like, you know, abused animals. <laughs> that's how I feel. It's, it's been like a really shitty week but you know it is what it is uh one thing a couple of weeks back that i had sort of praised about this series is that you really you don't have a lot of opportunities to race and so it's really uh i don't know very true to life like you know i used to play baseball i mean i played baseball all my life and you, you know you go up there and you get your three at bats four at bats a game you play your you know i played in a men's league for a long time you get your one game a week, and how you played during that, that day was it. That was it. You had to sit on that performance until next week. And so I like that. This is sort of a double-edged sword with the low participation is that on one hand, I do like that. It's just like, here's, you know, what happened. You know, it's like a real race. Like, you have, you practice all week, and you have your, uh, your race on Saturday or Sunday, and the result is whatever you got. And that's, the, that's really what life dealt you. And you made the best of it, or you made the worst of it, or you know maybe you had a great day or whatever. But that's it. You get your one race, and then you move on to the next week. Well, in this we get 
Thursdays and Fridays at least for high participation. And then for me, Sunday nights at midnight. So I still have a race tonight at midnight, which has a lot of participation. So I could get into another strength of field race and have another shot. But for the most part, I, four is about the most you get. And now if you compare that to like GT3, you could race four races in an afternoon every day. So you have more opportunities to, you know, better your standing uh, or just have a good race. So, like I said, on one hand, I like it because it feels more true to life. On the other hand, it's sort of, it sucks because like when you have a bad experience, you want to go back and you want to do well and you just are sort of chomping at the bit. To just be like, you know what, I don't fucking suck. <laughs> I want to show myself that I don't suck. And that's kind of where I was at with my races on uh, Thursday and then Friday. Uh, or sorry, not Thursday, Friday, Friday and then Saturday. The first race on Saturday is that I just like, I don't suck. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm better than this. And so that's why I came back. I was like, you know what, freaking crap. At midnight, I'm running again. <laughs> and so I did. And I had a better showing, and I was I was pleased with with what happened, even though uh, it was a boring race. After a while, <laughs> it got boring because there, it's really strange. Like this is the one of the big things I'm learning about V8 Supercars is that the, the 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 talent gap is so wide. You're either fast or you're not. Like there's really very few sort of middle of the road, you know, drivers for for certain tracks. Like it's either you're in like in the really fast guys. Or you're just not, and and it just sucks because I, I kind of expected there to be uh, a little bit more diverse group of drivers. And then again, I mean, this is only five weeks of experience. Who knows? Uh, next year, uh, you know, at the end of next season, season one, 2015, I might look back and be like, you know what? I don't know what the hell I was talking about <laughs> because there's plenty of middle of the road drivers out there. Um, but I think it's so far at the times that I've run, uh, it seems like all the fast guys are out, and I'm just just not one of them. Not yet. You know, maybe I will be one day. So, anyways, I'm going to cut myself off here. So, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I shall talk to you later.